it's Lisa here. I thought I'd quickly show you how I've started cataloging my artwork and backing it up at the same time. So I'm sure I'm not alone. I've got like a gazillion stacks um, in Procreate. I'm sure you do too. And recently I was approached by a customer who would like to license some of my illustrations and they asked for specific themes, um, which I knew I had, but to try and find them amongst this was a little bit of a nightmare. So <laughs> what I decided to do was to actually start cataloging my work properly and at the same time use that opportunity to back it up. Uh, previously, I had been backing up my work, um, obviously, which is, you know, a good idea, but I just literally was dumping it straight onto my Mac using AirDrop. So I'm going to show you how I've started actually cataloging it properly and yeah hopefully it'll help you too so what i do is the first important thing that i i do is i obviously stack things and name the stack according to how i use my work you might have a completely different process so for example i stack them according to the brush sets that i create and um also i you know the artwork that I create using those specific brushes as well I put into that same um, sort of stack and just to give you an example so this is for Aquareal regardless whether I used it for the product previews or not if I do use uh, Aquareal to create an illustration then it goes into the stack so that's the the first way that I um, use the cataloging in Procreate so to speak and then the other important thing is definitely name all your um, Procreate files before you start cataloging so that you can have the same name here versus the one on your computer or Dropbox or wh whichever backup system that you use. And you'll see, for example, some here I, s I still haven't done. Um, like this is still the name of the canvas that I used. And that's not very helpful. <laughs> yeah, so the first step is to name your Procreate document. And then once you've done that, what I do is I back up a Procreate document, a JPEG of the file, and if applicable, I back up a PNG file. So I remove the background and then I just back up that PNG um, version of that illustration. And if you want to go one step further, you can actually back up a PSD file, a Photoshop a layered file, if you really want to be double sure that you have a backup of your documents because those you can bring into both um, Photoshop or you can bring back into Procreate as well. But I generally stick to Procreate, JPEG and PNG. So once I've done that, I, I just simply you know share to my Mac using AirDrop. You can use a Dropbox or any other method that you normally use. And then I'm going to show you, once that's on my computer, I'll show you how I treat that on my um, Mac. Okay, so once I've airdropped those files to my Mac, I have a work folder and I've called it Art Catalog. Obviously, you can call it whatever makes sense for you. And then within that uh, catalog uh, folder, I have all those subfolders which are the same names as my stacks in Procreate. So if we go to Aquarill, which I showed you on my, um, on my uh, iPad, if I just expand that, so these are the files that I've started cataloging. I've got <laughs> quite a long way to go still, uh, which is a little daunting. It's my own fault, so I should have done this from the get-go. So I hope this is going to help you maybe save you a bit of time and... Um, yeah, not, not put you in the same position I'm in at the moment. Okay, so um, I just copied over um, my Sweet Deer illustration. And uh, what I do is I have a code for each um, folder. And then just a brief description of what it is. It doesn't necessarily um, correlate to the name of the file that I have, but it just gives me a brief description of what it is. And the reason why I have codes, because... Um, I generally draw a lot of the same things, like I draw a lot of bunnies and bears and there's only just so many ways you can describe a bear or a bunny, like a cute bear or a sweet bear. So I find that actually applying codes um, makes a bit more sense because then I don't have to worry too much about making unique names for my files and folders. Okay, so if I expand um, that sweet deer, which is the one I've just copied over, I'm now going to um, catalog that illustration. 
in uh, my numbers I use numbers for my catalog so you can essentially use let me just show you my file you can use any kind of list uh, software you know making you can use um, Airtable you can use Trello you can use Google anything that works for you I find that numbers works for me because it's a Mac um, program and it's you know it comes with with a Mac so it just works fine for me I have a very simple uh, table I literally have the code which corresponds with the folder name and the file name now this is where it's important because if you want to do a search on your Mac or your computer you want to be able to you know search for that exact file name to locate it if you don't know where you've you know placed it and then I have a small little um, thumbnail of the image which again is super important because as I said you know I might draw several bunnies with snowmen and now I can see exactly what image that is and then I just have a very simple tick box whether I've licensed it to a client yet or, or if it's a royalty free image that I sell in my shop and this just gives me an overview of um, you know how I've used those illustrations you can of course apply you know a whole lot of other info to your catalog if you want uh, but I just keep it simple and obviously um, if I've licensed something then you know that that's obviously licensed to that particular client for a set term and then I have that information somewhere else okay so to show you how I go about um, putting in an entry <clears throat> so each sorry just to show you how each sheet will be dedicated to a stack so for example that's a stack in my Procreate um, um, gallery and dog series instant artists those are all stacks in my procreate and they also correspond with the folders on my Mac okay so coming back to Aquareal and I want to enter the sweet deer and we have our code and then I'm just going to copy the name of uh, that file and you'll see in that folder I've got um, as I mentioned previously I've got a procreate backup file I've got a PNG file of the image and I've got a JPEG um, of the image so the JPEG is two reasons one it's actually final artwork you know that's flattened and two it also gives me an idea um, at a glance of what that image actually looks like so what I usually do is um, once I've put in the code and the name I take a screenshot so on a Mac it's shift command 4 and I simply drag that screenshot straight into the little images kind of blocky area and that gives me an idea immediately of what that image looks like and that's it it's that simple now I can safely know that I know what my illustration looks like, I know where to find it, and I have a backup of the original Procreate document. Yeah, so the next time a client approaches me, I'll be able to quickly run through my catalog and select the images um, that, you know, that I need. And this method is a lot quicker than trying to sift through all those documents in Procreate. So I hope that's helpful and thanks for watching.